सो हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज पार्थ एंड आई वेलकम यू टू आर चैनल मस्ट वॉच टिप्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो हाउ टू मेक दिस एनिमेटेड स्वॉट एनालिसिस पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन लुक वेरी आई कैचिंग एंड इट इज वेरी इजी टू मेक वी कैन जस्ट मेक दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इन फ्यू स्टेप्स सो आई बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू मेक दिस स्टेप बाय स्टेप एंड नाउ लेट्स जम्प इन टू द वीडियो एंड स्टार्ट मेकिंग दिस प्रेजेंटेशन So let us take a blank presentation and let me go to insert shape and here we select this uh, partial circle. So I'll select this partial circle and by holding shift button I will make a part of a circle like this. So if I not hold the shift button then it won't be a part of a circle. It can be a part of oval like that. So if you hold shift button you can make a part of exactly a circle. So let me delete this and now let us arrange it exactly in the center. Here you can see that we have a button, a yellow circle. So you can just rotate this and make a pie out of it. One fourth section we will crop. So make sure you have exactly the one fourth part of it. Like this. We don't want border of the shape. So we will select no outline. So here we have one fourth part of the circle ready with us. Now let us duplicate this. So I'll press Ctrl D and then I will rotate it by 90 degrees and put it over here. Again, I will select both of this and press Ctrl D and let us rotate these two shapes as well and put it over here. So this is how we made a circle of one fourth part, four one fourth part. So that is the circle. Now let us again go to insert and let us insert circle again. And again, we will press a shift button while making that. So now let us subtract this circles part from one fourth part of any of this. So what it happens is we will get only this fragment part. So let me just duplicate this circle four times because we need to subtract it four times from each of the one fourth part which we have just created. So I'll press Ctrl D and make another circle and place it exactly in the center. And this way I can make four different circles, black circles. Now what I will do is I will select the blue circle first, this one. Then I'll hold the shift button and again I will select this black circle. Then I will go to shape format and I will subtract it. So you can see that that fragment is cut off from that black circle. That again we will do for, we will again hold this uh, blue circle, uh, bigger one, then we will holding shift button, we'll select the black. Then again we will go to shift format and let us select subtract. I will do that for all four times. So you can see that I have a uh, four part of this fragment like this. So that's where our first step ends. Let me make it smaller. And let us arrange this. So I'll arrange it like this and let me insert a circle exactly in the center of it like this and and now it's time to change the color so we will go to our browser and search for blue color palettes let me take snip of it after taking snip of that we will go to our presentation and paste that palette over here. Now let us take different colors from this uh, picture. So we'll go to shape format. I'll select one of the shape. Then in shape field, I will select eyedropper. And now when I, wherever I will click, it will take the color of that particular. And for this, we will choose a grayish color. Now we don't want this. So I'll delete this. Now to this object top left, I will make it bigger and put it over here like this. 
So if I want to highlight the strength of my team or the project, then I will uh, show this by popping up this S or strength portion. Now let us go to insert and icons. I will select different icons from this. So let us say you want to have the icon of strength. So you can choose uh, a uh, icon like this. So if I click on this uh, icon and select insert, the icon is there. And the good part is that you can change the color of this icon. So if you go to graphics format and in graphics field, you can say it is a white color and I can put it over here. So in this way, you can have three different icons from weakness, strength, opportunities and threats. So here we have added four of the icons and now let us add a text box where let us write S a letter for strength. And then let us choose some Arial black, the bold font. And I'll put it over here. And text will let us say we want to take the gray color. Okay, now let us do one thing. Uh, okay, now let us do one thing. Let us uh, duplicate this slide by pressing Ctrl D and we'll make this bigger which we had earlier now we are ready with the first slide so first slide is ready but the second slide i will uh, select all press ctrl g to group them all and i will rotate this by 90 degrees okay then i'll again uh, group and then click on ungroup now you have noted that all these five objects along with this s this one two three four and five objects are rotated i'll again rotate it by 90 degrees clockwise so we have completed this step So this is how we completed all of our four slides S, W, O and T. And now let us add N oceans in this. So I'll just copy this. So I've just copy pasted N oceans, trends, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Now the last step is to add a transition. So let us select all of this, uh, go to transition and apply morph transition. Now let us take duration of one second. So let us see what we have made till now. This is how it looks like after you complete the slide. So I hope you like this video and you have learned a lot from this. So hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends whosoever is necessary and want to make SWOT analysis presentation in an animated way. Hoping to see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice day.